In this video, I'll show you how to create a free pop-up with Elementor in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site. And if we click this button here, it'll trigger our pop-up and this is created without using Elementor Pro. Okay, and you can add whatever content you want in here. So it could be a contact form. It could be some interactive element. It could be a newsletter. Um, you name it, okay? So if you want to create a similar setup, I'll show you exactly how you can um, do this without having to pay a penny, okay? Okay, so with that said, let's head over to our dashboard and let's go ahead and install the required plugins to make this all happen, okay? So we'll head over to our dashboard, okay? And then we'll go ahead and navigate to plugins, add new, okay? And then we'll go ahead and search for anywhere Elementor. I believe that's what it's called. Okay, and it's this one here. So you just want to go ahead and install and activate it. And then finally, we'll go ahead and search for. We'll search for exclusive add-ons for Elementor. Again, just go ahead and install and activate it. Okay, so this plugin will allow us to um, add our content within a pop-up. And then anywhere for Elementor will allow us to display our Elementor pages anywhere um, on our site, okay? So we need these two plugins active. So I've got both of them active. So now the first thing we'll do is we'll actually go ahead and create our pop-up, okay? So we'll see this AE templates here, then just go ahead and click add new. I'm gonna go ahead and click on all since I've already created one beforehand. Okay, and I've created this pop-up here. So as I said, in your case, just go ahead and click add new. I'm just gonna go ahead and edit this one, which I've created earlier. Okay, so again, just like any other um, WordPress page or Elementor landing page, just go ahead and give it a name. It's just for internal purposes. And then we'll go ahead and click edit with Elementor. Okay, and then here you'll just create your pop-up, right? So if it's a form that you wanna add to your pop-up, you can go ahead and do so, right? So we can add our form fields here or any other information. Since this is an e-commerce store, here I'm just showing a sale related pop-up. But again, go ahead and design the content within this pop-up. And then once you're done, just go ahead and click update. Okay, and then we'll exit back to the page. Okay, and then finally, we need to copy this short code here. So we'll just select it and then we'll just copy it. Okay, and now we need to decide where we want to display this pop-up, okay? So in my case, I'm going to display it on our homepage. So I'm just going to navigate to pages and... Okay, and here's our homepage. So I'm just going to click edit with Elementor here. Okay, so in this widget section, we just need to search for pop-up, okay? And then we'll just drag and drop it here, for example. Okay, and where it says type, we need to select um, short code and then we'll paste in our short code here. Okay, and that's pretty much it for the most part. So we can click update. And so we just want to double check um, that the pop ups working as it should. And then we'll go ahead and style this button. Just so you know, these two buttons are exactly the same, right? I've just styled it a bit differently. So let's view our homepage. Okay, and if we click this button here, here we can see our pop-up, right? Okay, so now we can go ahead and actually customize this button that triggers our pop-up. So we'll head back over here. And then first thing, I'm gonna remove this icon because I don't want this icon here. I'm gonna change the text to say shop sales. Okay, and that looks good. So now we'll navigate over to style. I'm gonna change the width slightly. Now we'll leave the width as it is. I'm gonna remove the border radius. Okay, so we'll and then for the padding, I want to remove the top padding, so maybe to 10. And then I'll do the same for the bottom padding as well. So we'll set that to 10. And as you can see, it's pretty much identical. So in my case, I would personally just leave it here. We can just drag and drop it into position, okay? But again, since I've got the exact same button here, I'm just going to go ahead and remove this. If you want to change the background color, you can do. Okay, so you just stylize it to match your brand, okay? So I'm just gonna remove this as I said. And that's pretty much it. That's how we create a pop-up um, in Elementor for free. Okay, so one issue you might face is maybe the box sizing, okay? So in my case, so I'll quickly show you. So I'm gonna navigate back over to our dashboard and I'm gonna go ahead and edit the pop-up because there was a bit of display issue. So I'll just walk you through how I fixed that. So let's navigate back to AE templates, all templates. 
and then I'm gonna go ahead and click edit with Elementor okay so I'm gonna click on this section here okay and as I said there was a bit of display issue so what I did is I basically changed the width okay so if I remove this let's see if we can replicate the display issue by removing the width so I've set this to box width okay and then let's update then let's refresh this page and then let's click on this okay right so it still kind of displays fine which is okay but let's say I wanted it a bit more squarish so I just change the width on this section here okay and I'll just set it to something like 700 let's update one more time then we'll refresh this page and then we'll click on our pop-up again okay so this looks fine and as you create a pop-up with elementor for free in just a few simple steps if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe for more videos like this and if you've got any questions leave in the comment box below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible